I just realized we're gonna have to do this every year. Hey guys, it's me Jules and I'm here with another video and I'm so sorry it's been so long. I know it's been a while. I kind of prioritize school and other things over my YouTube channel. But now that it's summer, I really do want to like get back into it. As you read from the title, this video is all about how to get student season pass tickets at Penn State for the football games. If you didn't know, I'm gonna be a junior at Penn State, which is crazy, time flew by so fast. I had no idea going into my freshman year how insane like the ticket process really is. And there were no like videos on YouTube really how to buy them. I kinda just had to ask around and hope for the best, but unfortunately I did not get those tickets. Dude, all of- Oh my god, they're like literally about to sell out. Okay, 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 we're almost there, we're almost there. One person ahead of you, okay, 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 okay. Okay, it's on- what? Okay, 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 unlock. No! 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 I forgot I had that footage and I found it. And I think it's the funniest thing ever. But I hope that's not me this year. Again. But I did my sophomore year, so I learned a lot. My heart is racing. <laughs> we got the tickets. I can go to sleep now. For people who haven't purchase the tickets or don't go to Penn State. Let me like describe what the process is like. Think of like the Taylor Swift Eras tour and how like shut down Ticketmaster, how everyone was hopping on trying to get tickets and some people were unfortunately not as lucky. Yeah, that's the same process. And since my freshman year, some rules have changed. So it's a little bit harder to sneak into the student section even if you didn't get the student pass. I'm just gonna give like my best tips of what i've learned what's worked for me i also have some footage for me buying tickets last year because i had this video planned i i knew i wanted to make this video we're gonna start off with things you need to know prior to actual ticket day it may seem like oh the stadium could fit the whole entire school and yeah it technically can however there's not enough room for every single person to sit in the student section and that section is so much fun there's a whole week where tickets are on sale and it goes by year i'll have it on the screen for the 2023 season so there's i believe the graduate students seniors juniors sophomores and freshmen you want to make sure you know which day you're supposed to buy tickets even if it's like your freshman year you could be counted as a sophomore or if you're a sophomore you could be counted as a junior make sure you know how many credits and like what day you should be buying tickets because it's not really based on like how many years you've been at Penn State, but how many credits you have um, that count you as a certain student. I knew a couple people that literally did not realize that they were a year ahead and they ended up missing their ticket dates. Just know that ahead of time. I believe you can find that in Lion Path. Have your Ticketmaster accounts set and ready beforehand. If you're making multiple accounts, make sure your emails and phone numbers are all different for each account. Because Ticketmaster will recognize when some person is using like the same phone number for like five accounts and that kicks you out of the queue like that's not allowed at all what i did was i had my school email and then my personal phone number and then i had my personal email and i used like my dad's phone number i think or my brother's and then i might have had a third account i really don't remember and i believe you can only use one account per device i used my phone and my computer i know people that have used their ipad and their phone and computer and whatever like you can access Ticketmaster on use it it's just nice to have those extra devices in case but one device cannot have the same account on both of it if that makes sense because that will kick you out of the queue as well which that has happened to me and my friends if you do not live in the eastern time zone make sure you're aware of what time you need to be awake to get the tickets because Tickets will go live at 7 a.m. Eastern time. So if you're in California, those tickets are up at 4 a.m. I have a friend in California, she was up at 4 a.m. I have a friend in Indonesia and he was trying to get tickets. Everyone is all on Ticketmaster at the same time and it's intense. Another thing to make sure you have prepared is your card information or your payment, whatever. Have it set and ready like the day before. Like I have my debit card and credit cards all listed and ready to go the night before so i didn't have to fill it out while i was getting tickets because you want it to go quickly when it comes to the actual ticket sales i like having as i said my phone and my computer out personally for me i like making it a little day um i'm up by usually 6 a.m or even like sunrise and then i go get duncan 
no one's in the drive through lane, so it's really nice. By 6.45, I'm ready on my computer. Every tab is open. It's on my phone. I'm ready to go. I just have to wait it out. Usually, people are on it by 6.50, 6.55. Okay, it is currently 6.58. As I said, once 7 a.m. hits, your tickets usually sell out by like 7.10 or 7.15. When you're on Ticketmaster, it'll tell you how much time is left until ticket sales go up. So at 6.45, it'll say 15 minutes left. So the second it turns 7 a.m., you're put into a queue. And so it might be like 100 people in front of you or like a thousand people in front of you. You can really see how many people are trying to get these tickets. You just have to wait in the queue until it's your time and hope for the best. The second you're in the queue, all you have to do is put in your student ID code. So make sure you know that. You can find that in Lion Path. It's a nine digit code. That's what you need to put in to even get the tickets. And then you put in your code and then you add the tickets to the cart. You move to the payment option. Hopefully if your card's already in there, you just put it in, put in security codes, whatever. You can add the t-shirt, but honestly you could just not. They also sell it at the bookstore, so I mean, I just, I don't get it. I wear something else for the white out, but usually the guys do. But once you get this image on your screen, that means you successfully got your tickets. Tickets will technically run out, but you might be still like in the choose your ticket spot. I don't, this page. And then if it keeps saying, oh, sorry, like there's an error, there's, there's no more tickets left. Like you're, it's unfortunate. On the day ticket sales go up, there are also gonna be a lot of scammers on Facebook. So even if someone's like, oh, selling my student pass, there's a chance that that person could be a scammer. I've known some people that have lost a lot of money because they fell for the scammers. So please be aware and try to be careful. But don't freak out if you don't get the student pass. There are ways to sneak into the student section. There are ways to get in and there are ways to get student tickets. Usually tickets are cheaper when it's closer to the day of the game. I had a friend that sold her Ohio State ticket um, during the summer, right when she got the pass and she sold it for $300. I waited closer to the game and I only sold it for $175. That's kind of the gist of it. It's not necessarily difficult. It's just kind of based on luck and just knowing these tips. Hopefully you guys get your tickets. I am hoping I get mine. I don't really want to deal with another freshman year sob story. No! I think I spent at least $500 when, if you get the student pass, it's like $30 per game. If you know what you're doing and you're on top of everything, you should be fine. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and good luck when it comes to ticket sales this year. If you have any other questions about the ticket sales or even Penn State in general, feel free to DM me on Instagram. Have a wonderful day, guys, and I'll see you.